Hey everyone, it's Laura. I ordered one of Sephora's favorite uh, holiday kits. Never guess which one I ordered, right? <laughs> the lip kit, of course. Um, my friend Cece from Cece's Trial Size Life got this. And I told her I was, you know, debating what I, whether I wanted to get it or not. And she's like, well, watch my video. And if you like it, order it. So I did. And I did. <laughs> I ordered it before I even finished watching. <laughs> it's really good, I think. So I'm going to open this up and show you what I what's in it in case you didn't see her video. But go check her out as well because she's my good friend and she's hilarious. Um, and she orders a lot of these four favorites. You're probably already familiar with her, but just in case you're not. I'll show you my um, two samples because when you order from Sephora, you get to choose um, two samples from their sample collection. So I got this perfume. I don't know how you pronounce this. It's K Ali. I don't know, but this is Huda or Huda Beauty's um, fragrance brand. So this is the vanilla. And the reason why I got this, I'm pretty sensitive to fragrance, but sometimes I can wear vanilla. It depends. But they have a set right now that comes with a, a little mini bottle of this and one of her lipsticks. And I thought it was a really good price. And I thought if I like this perfume, I might get that little set. So it says, this is Vanilla 28. And it said it's Vanilla Orchid, Tonka, Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, and Musk are the notes. And this is the little atomizer. So let's try it. Oh, I should have waited. <laughs> well, it's nice. It's it's warm, like they said, but I actually really like that. Hopefully it won't give me a headache. Um, I'll put it in the comments if I think of it and see how it, you know, how it lasts. And if it gives me a headache later. But right now I really like that. It's not too sweet. It's a little more warm, but not like patchouli smell because I hate that smell. So anyway, this was the other thing that I picked and it's, tiny. This is Sulwasu and this is a essential comfort firming cream and it's I thought I was hoping it'd be an actual little bottle not just a little foil packet but so there's that and then I redeemed some points for a sample. Um, 100 points got me a Rare Beauty liquid blush and look how tiny that is. <laughs> it's itty bitty. Um, I don't remember what shade it was. It didn't give me an option, but um, I know it comes in several shades, but I don't know. Um, it says Believe on it, but I don't think that's the name of the shade, but I could be wrong. Look how little it is. It's so cute. Let's see if it has a shade name on here. Yeah, it is called Believe is the shade name. So I'm not normally a liquid blush person, but I like to use up my Sephora points because you can't really do much else with them other than get like little samples. So that's really pretty. It'd make a pretty lippy, but supposedly it's a liquid blush. I suppose it wouldn't dry down like a, like a lipstick, but you can see it's rare beauty. Their packaging is really pretty. So that's what I got with my, with a hundred points, catch you that tiny little sample, but it's a beautiful color. So, okay, let's get into this lip kit. It did come in a giant outer box. I took everything out of the box before I started recording so you wouldn't have to watch me fart around with that. And it was, this was taped. I just sliced the tape. And there's all the lippies. So pretty. So we've got one, two full size, I believe. I know the Rare Beauty is full size. And I think the Charlotte Tilbury is full size. Yeah, it is. So these two are full size and then the rest are, you know, deluxe samples. So I'm going to just go from left to right. So we'll save the, the two big ones for last. Um, I might have to pause. Oh, no. I was going to say I might have to pause this to get them out because they're in like the little plastic. So this one is Pat McGrath. And the shade is Vendetta. Ugh, mine's broken. Cece, was yours broken? Oh, I'm still going to swatch it, but that makes me sad because it's Pat McGrath. I mean, her stuff is expensive. That is a beautiful, like, plum shade, and I love their packaging, the little lips. I have some Pat McGrath um, lip glosses, and they're amazing. I don't have a lippy on because I'm going to put one of these on my lips. 
So this is, I guess, pronounced give, even though it's an X. I don't understand it. G-X-V-E. It's Gwen Stefani's brand. And it's only available at Sephora and maybe on her own website. Oh, that's so cute. It's so little. So it's a, her signature red. You know, if you, you know, have watched Gwen Stefani over the years, I did a horrible job swatching it, but you know that red is her jam. Like she always wears red. So that is pretty. Then we have got, um, what brand is this? Hold on. Um, oh, this is NARS. Doesn't say it anywhere on here, even on the bottom. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm reading it because it says it's NARS Afterglow Lip Shine in Orgasm, but that's not what this is. Oh, this is Urban Decay Vice Hydrating Lipstick in Back Talk. I am so sorry, guys. Okay. That's a kind of a taupey shade. That's this one. It's actually a lot prettier on my hand than it looks in the tube. I don't know why they don't put their name anywhere on there. It's literally nowhere on there. I mean, the name of the shade is on the bottom, but it doesn't say like Urban Decay anywhere on it. Next up, and I don't like this stuff. I've tried it before and it really makes your lips tingle. And this is the extreme version. I've only tried the regular, but this is Too Faced um, Lip Injection. It's a plumping lip gloss. And like I said, that one says extreme. And you can see it's like holographic. It's really pretty. Um, I have just like, you know, the regular, not the extreme version. And it was a little much for me. So I will be putting that in a future giveaway. This is the NARS. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't want to refilm because, you know, I already swatched. Um, and I don't edit out my mistakes. Sometimes I start over if it's really bad. <laughs> but anyway, this is it, um, in Orgasm. So this is called Afterglow Lip Shine. And so it's like a pink with like a little bit of uh, glitter in there, like a gold shimmer. Boy, I don't look like much on, the, on a swatch though. It's right there. So that would be more of a topper. Okay, we got that. A couple more. Now we're on to the two full sizes. The Charlotte Tilbury. I have a mini of one of hers. So this is the original Pillow Talk. I think I have Pillow Talk 2. Yeah, this is Pillow Talk 2 in a mini. And then this is the full size of the regular Pillow Talk. And the formula is amazing. It's, you know, a very nude shade, but oh, it's so pretty. And I love how it's like carved like that. Okay, we're putting this on our lips. Oh, it's so pretty. It's real soft and flattering, which is kind of, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury like signature look is a lot of nudes and then a lot of shine, but this is matte. But if I didn't mind that feeling of tingle, I would put that Too Faced over this, but I'm not going to. It's very pretty. I'm excited to have a full size Charlotte Tilbury. I forgot to mention this kit was $45. And I do believe this is like 30 something on its own. So I mean, the value is definitely there. And then the last full size item is from Rare Beauty. So I got two Rare Beauty things. One of her lip glosses. And these are really cool. They have this flat bottom so that it doesn't like roll off your table or your desk or your vanity or wherever you have it. And this shade, because I can't read it on here, is Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in Nearly Neutral. So that's what that looks like. I'll swatch it right here. That's right there. I'm going to put that on over this, I think. That'll be pretty. Oh, I like that. It feels really nice too. Like it's not sticky. So that is what I got from Sephora, my Sephora favorites. I'm gonna use everything except for the little Too Faced because, um, you know, I don't like that feeling, but. So if you're interested in <laughs> Go 
gosh. If you're interested, <laughs> this is $45. And I mean, these two things alone are, are more than $45. So you definitely get your value. So I'm excited. I, I've been wanting to get the Charlotte Tilbury. Not that I couldn't have just bought it, but it's fun to try the other stuff. I'm a little bummed about the Pat McGrath that it was broken inside. I'll email Sephora or chat with them or whatever the heck they have you do and see if there's anything they can do. But yeah, it's definitely broken. This is, you know, loose in here. It, I could still use it. Um, I probably wouldn't apply it directly to my lips with it broken like that. I would use a brush. But anyway, it's a beautiful color. Um, that was this swatch right here. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, I will see you on my next video.